During session 10 of our Whispering Vault game, we spent most of the time talking about our game and talking about uh, the setting and arriving at some common ground for uh, how a lot of it is to be played. The main issue uh, Adriano has written about already at Adept's Play, um, which seems, I say the main issue because it's the obvious one, it's the, the fictional element, which has to do with who are the judges of the retrieved unbidden that the stalkers find. Um, and so with a little bit of discussion about that and interacting with the book without necessarily treating it as a legal brief, uh, the, the interpretation, um, that they are not cops, that they are not simply, you know, Dobermans sent out into the, the various crimes of time to go and, you know, nab perpetrators and bring them back that, uh, instead that they actually judge the unbidden. Um, the book is a little odd about this in some ways, uh, both yay and nay to this. Uh, the question of whether uh, lowered karma rewards are punishments, um, or are in fact such mechanics even rewards in the sense of saying, were you a good little player today? Um, how do we interpret these things uh, really critically? So, all right. It was a good discussion uh, because we got somewhere and continued to play. And the beginning of our current hunt uh, began with, uh, let's see, uh, Adriano's usual uh, pretty remarkable takes on uh, the navigator um, and the transition into the flesh uh, continued. Um, we're not really developing, you know, kind of relationships with weird entities along the way, except the navigator is becoming more and more personable and more and more opinionated about things and familiar with us. We don't have to, you know, prove ourselves um, as much to the entities. The transition is often extremely strange. Um, in this case, we ended up in, um, we ended up in, 1400s Japan, um, right at a point where the uh, influx of firearms was exceptionally strong. Was it 1500s? Anyway, Adriano was was particularly clear about this, and um, we're in one of the southern islands of the Japanese island chain, not Okinawa, but another one of of import, and it. Uh, is evident that we are in the midst of a really, really severe uh, enigma. Um, the, the place is quite surreal. There are, you know, robotic tanks. Um, well, robotic people and weird, you know, cockpit-driven tanks roaming about and all sorts of things, um, some kind of a some kind of a androidy and uh, highly weaponized form of essence kind of situation is happening. So anyway, that continued. Uh, we, we played only for about 20 minutes, um, enough to get there and to establish a dialogue with the supplicant, who was a Shinto priestess. And um, the, the depiction of the culture, both the syncretic... Buddhism plus Shinto, plus the uh, the both the historical transformations of society at that time and the impact of whatever this enigma is um, are extremely vivid, vividly brought to us. And then those of us who are you know interested in the history, which is all of us, um, chime in with pieces, and it's it's looking quite rich at the moment. Anyway, so then we move into playing session 11, which you can view.